All right, now you're with the man who is rumored he made a quarter milli off one party one time. Uh, sir, that is uh, just a lyric in a song. Okay. I'm not at liberty to discuss any kind of financial matters. Now, did you ever did you ever look towards the future and think that the redneck white parade would grow to be into the size of an event it is now? Uh, I don't think you can really uh, like uh, have uh, expectations like that because I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. So it was either going to work or it wasn't going to work. So. Okay. And I don't like to fail too much. So. That's what's up. So, there was a time when you first started when you were recording and recording boots the size of a closet and sleeping in a closet, correct? Yes, okay. Now, uh... You do your research. I like it. How, how would you go ahead and compare those moments to that of today? Like, would you say you're living larger or you've learned to appreciate more things in life? Uh, I have more bills. You have more bills? Yes, yes. Lots more bills. Okay, so you know, like... You said it best. More money, more problems. Okay. So like the average the average recording artist goes ahead and drops like three to five k to put out an album on SoundCloud these days and stuff like that. Um, I've noticed along the way your music is maturing. You've done stuff with Jesse Howard now. Breaking Me Down was an amazing song. He's right over there, of course. Child Jesse Howard. How would you say what you spend in comparison to other artists on your own albums? You say you put more effort, more money, more energy into it in comparison to other artists? Well, I think uh, I think a big thing is uh, you know it takes money to make money. So if you shortchange yourself, you know your product's gonna kind of represent. That. Okay. So if you, you know you want people to take you serious and shit, you just gotta you know put forth the effort and you know as an artist, you're the last one to get paid. You know everybody gets paid. You know, the producer gets paid, the engineers get paid, the distro gets paid. You know, your graphic, your video guy, you know travel, uh, all this shit gets paid before you get paid. So you know it definitely takes money to make money in this particular game, 100. Okay, so. Now, it's also rumored that you at one time had your own lawn mowing service. Would you, which, which would you say is harder? Being the party planner and the recording artist or having a lawn mowing service? Uh, I would say cut grass. Cut grass. <laughs> <laughs> now, now uh, there's also some opinions on the internet. Uh, maybe people share those opinions. Maybe some people agree to the contrary of that, that you are too friendly with your fan base and you invite them over to your home for, uh, you know, holiday gatherings, private parties and stuff like that and everything. Uh, this is a time where if you want to shout out your fans or anything or address anything about that, you're more than welcome to. Uh, I think a lot of artists lose touch in the people that put them into positions that, you know, got them the things that they have to be able to live the dream that not a lot of people are going to be doing. So, uh, you know, one thing I've always done at the Redneck Grave is always shake hands. And, you know, you can vouch for that. Anybody out here can vouch for that. I go to campsite to campsite, you know, taking pictures, drinking everybody's liquor, CBD, all that kind of stuff, man. So, uh, yeah, I, 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 I pride myself on, and the artists know, you know, that they can't hide in a, in a tour bus. They can't, you know, and if you do that, that's cool, you know, respect to you, but that's just not the kind of people I want to book. I want to book the people that go out and ride and give back to the, to the people. Okay. Now, there's also been a little speculation online as to your older music versus your newer music, that your music is heading in a different direction. Uh, do you have any way that you want to address that or even speak on it? Uh, I wouldn't say that it's heading in a different direction. I would just say I'm sort of broad, uh, broadening my horizons into trying different things. You know what I mean? Okay. At the end of the day, music is, you know, it's a passion and stuff like that. So I'm, a, I'm an event planner, you know what I mean? Okay. I've always said that for the simple fact that, you know, artists, it is, it is a competition, so to speak. So if I just call myself the party planner, nobody sees me as a threat. But uh, I think it's time to, you know, let them know that the threat's been there kind of pretty much the whole time. So now it's time to really show what, uh, what real bars are, actually. So Okay, so now, as an independent artist, can we ever plan on or ever see a Redneck Rave Records in the future? Like, maybe your own label? Yeah, 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 actually, 100%. Like, you'll see that. Uh, pretty fucking soon, actually, yeah. We already got an artist in mind, and, uh, yeah, we're going to announce it now soon. Okay, so with uh, Mako being out there, Goon Squad being out there, and then your own record label or anything like that, do you see any competition in the future with the artists you call your brothers, or uh, any actual joint collaborations of uh, bigger sh bigger and better Redneck Rave shows featuring other labels? Um, I mean, you know, everybody kind of does their own thing, so I feel like, you know, a label may want to 
do this direction and that may not suit them and what may suit one person may not suit another but I think the biggest thing is just if you have a record label to uh, you know just put everything you have in an artist as much as you have your own career and you know I think it'll it'll work at least you know I'm kind of just what's your social medias uh, my social security is uh, <laughs> uh, uh, just who the fuck is Justin Time? CF is Justin Time. Uh, Redneck Rave. Uh, I have a rap, car rap business, so if you guys have car rap stuff, let me know, rap my graphics. And, uh, yeah. So, so what's the latest single you're going to be coming out with? Oh, man, uh, you know, I, I don't even know, to be honest with you, because when we went back and we just recorded a whole album in, like, four days, and, uh... That was, I guess you could say, the... What the you a little white or something like that, right? Huh? You a little white? Uh, no, so the album that I just did was 100% no features, no nothing, it's just me. Okay. You know, everyone tries to be like, oh, yes, I'm the feature creature, you know what I mean? Uh, I think, uh, I, that's, that's good, pat myself on the back for being able to put myself in position to still that work and do shit with a lot of artists, but I do want to show people, you know, I'm, uh, I'm a what was that latest one you put out on, on uh, Facebook? You had it out there for like 24 hours for everybody to hear a preview friends of? Friends and foes. Yeah, friends and foes. We do got the little white album, not to get all on all top of it. But that was just the last thing I did was that album. But before that, yeah, me and, uh, me and Lil White, we got a whole album together. And uh, that should be coming soon. We got a lot of big features on there. Uh, we got like the Lax. We got uh, Bubba Sparks. Calvin will be up there. Uh, there's a couple more artists that I don't want to say because they want to give it all away. Yeah, yeah they're, and they're really big. They're not really inside country rap, so you know we get to try to get them. All right, is there anybody you want to thank out there for anything going on? Yeah, man. Uh, thank you to me. <laughs> <laughs> the top dog.